I've known Stephen for a while and I really like the script. I thought it was funny and uh, I like the fact there's some good wrestling in there too. And, and uh, you know, I think I I saw the, the documentary before I read the script and I think after just watching that, I thought, yeah, I'm definitely in. <laughs> it's just the story of the Knight family uh, who live in Norwich and the whole family are wrestlers and have been forever. Um, Ricky is a reformed hard man stroke gangster and, you know, he has the love of his life by his side and it's a story of their kids and the struggle, you know, and I think what's quite, especially English wrestling, it's quite a dwindling pastime. I thought the story was, was fantastic and just ripe for what Stephen and Dwayne and, and everyone, at, you know, their, their company want to do with it. You know, they wanted to tell a, a story of, of a family, you know, with a lot of heart and a lot of passion and everything that goes with that. Um, and, and they, you know, the script was really nice and it was funny and, you know, I knew Lena was going to do it and that was a great draw and Jack and Florence and, you know, it's just an exciting... When I say young cast, I mean Jack and Florence. Uh, me and Lena aren't so young. You know, it, it, it's a great four. I didn't, I think, at the beginning, realise how ambitious and how big it was going to be, you know. And now I'm here, I'm really happy that it is all those things and, and they're not taking any of the action away and the heart's there and, and it's funny, you know. Giant multi-millionaire Stephen Merchant he he's a good egg, you know. I mean, he's a. Uh, I like watching him direct. He's a good director. He has a nice way about him, and he's very collaborative, which is, I think, probably all you can ask for from a director and an actor. You know, it's nice that he asked my opinion about things, and do you think this is funny? And you know, he's made me feel really welcome on, on set. What the knights do, and everyone else in the British industry in that cottage industry do is is about the audience it's about them taking away the feeling that they've just seen two four six great warriors um athletically smash each other up for an hour and a half you want these people to do well you know you you, you meet a group of people at the beginning they're all different characters that you may like or not like and then something bad happens and you, they pick themselves up and you root for them to win. You know, that's what you want. You want these people to win. And I think it, it kind of mirrors wrestling itself in a way that you want the good guys to win. You don't want the baddies to win. You want the goodies to win. And I think I don't want to give too much away, but the goodies win. Uh, and that's a nice feeling. It makes people feel nice, I think. They're fantastic actors and they're very committed, you know, they're very committed to the drama and I know physically they've been at it for, for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks now and, um, you know, I was very interested and excited that when they went to Florida and, you know, Florence came out and and performed in front of 20,000 people at a WWE event and I think it it takes a great amount of courage. They're just good people, they're good actors and they... They like to have a laugh, but then they also take it seriously. You know, uh, I think it's important. And they, I think they have all the qualities to... They're stars, you know. They are tremendous athletes. And I know uh, I've, I've avoided saying this, but people say, oh, well, it's not really, it's all fake. Well, yeah, of course it's fake. But what isn't fake is a 20-stone man flying off the top of a 30-foot cage through a table. It... it they're tremendous athletes and they train constantly and they're hard men and women and they travel all the time, you know what I mean? It's, I think people assume that that life is so glamorous and, and dramatic, you know, it, it, but that they work all the time, you know, if they're not in the ring getting smashed up, they're training getting smashed up or they're on a flight or they're in a car or they're having makeup done or other, you know, it, it is constant work, and I, I, I have nothing but, but admiration f f 
for what they do, you know. It's funny, and it, it there is great action, but I, I would like people to take away that nice, warm, <laughs> I've just eaten a bowl of porridge feeling of, of a film about a family, you know. And and that relationship and that, and that strength and that warmth, you know.